Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about Autogen Framework. What is Autogen Framework? How to use Autogen Framework into our semantic kernel application? Let's start. Before starting Autogen Framework, first we will understand the agent. One of my video I explained what is agent, how to use agent in Microsoft semantic kernel. The agent concept remain same there is no changes so agent in the context of llm in in generative ai is like a smart assistant or an digital helper that can perform a specific task on its own autogen is a free and open framework that help you create ai agents and allows multiple agent to work together so you can communicate one agent to other agent to solve the problems the main goal of Autogen Framework is designed to simple and flexible, making it easier and faster to develop and research AI that acts like an agent. In the Autogen point of view, agent, it's like a smart assistant or bot. So those agents send and receive messages and it can talk, listen like a human conversation. How it responds to the user? or response to other agent. So it's generate the replay using model tools and get information from the people or mixing those together. So this is called as an autogen agent. Autogen framework support two programming language, Python and C Sharp. If you want to use C Sharp, you have to install the autogen NuGet package and Python, we have to use the pip package, py autogen. So let's move on to Visual Studio and how we can integrate this autogen framework into our semantic kernel application. In Visual Studio, I have created a new project called Autogen SK. Here I written the basic code. So the first up, I create the kernel builder object. So here the function. And I mainly used GitHub A model. In our last video, I explained about how to use GitHub A model in semantic kernel application. So if you want to try with GitHub A model, you can use this API. Or you can use directly use Azure OpenAI or OpenAI uh, models, whatever you like. I focus on GitHub A model. Here I pass the all the required argument, model name, endpoint, and GitHub token. So once the object has been created, the next step I created the user message. At the moment I hard code it. So there's a sample, so I don't want to get the user information from the runtime. So I hard code the user message using this chat message content class. I pass the role user and the user message is a create a Python program to add to numbers. So our basic code is ready. The next step we have to add Autogen framework into semantic kernel application. For that, we have to install the NuGet package. If you go to the NuGet package, autogen.semantic kernel. So this NuGet package has to be installed. The next, if you are using GitHub BI model, you have to install this Azure AI community SK connector, GitHub model. I have already installed these two packages, so I no need to install again. I just close this one and I'll go to our main program.cs file. So here we are going to write our main code. So the first step, we have to create the agent, Autogen Framework agent, we have to create it. So I create the first step here, a agent equal to new of semantic kernel agent. So this semantic kernel agent API come from the autogen framework. The first argument we have to pass the kernel, which we created the line number 15. So I pass the kernel here. The second we have to set the agent name. So agent name is K agent. Third step, we have to set the system message. It's a default argument. If default, uh, you are a helpful A assistant. I just go with the default. So no need to add the system message for this sample. So once the agent has been created, we have to pass the 
chat message content that means the user message we had to pass to to autogen framework so where response equal to await sk agent dot sent async so this function we have to use to pass the user message information you can directly pass the string here so user input you can directly pass it or you have to pass the chat message content also if you want to pass this chat message content you cannot simply pass it because the argument is a message interface so we have to convert this chat message content to the message interface after that we have to pass it here for that i am going to convert this chat message content to message content so here where message content equal to message envelope so this class provided by the autogen framework using this class we can convert to our chat message content to the message con content so here message content dot create we have to pass the our chat message content that's it so once passed it's converted to this message envelope so this information we have to pass it the first argument here message content so that's it so our main code is ready we get the user information this user information we converted to the message envelope this message envelope we pass to the agent once the agent process it give the response again the response is again the message envelope only so we have to convert back to the chat message content so here i define the chat message on variable chat message content so response content here we check the condition if response is message envelope chat message content so envelope here we are checking the condition if the message envelope is a chat message content then assign to the envelope variable so response content equal to envelope dot content so we get the response from here and here we print the result content that's it build the application build and run the application so hello world just default message which in our program yeah here we get the response we requested add two numbers in python so we get the response from the agent this is just a simple example how to integrated autogen framework into our semantic analysis application in upcoming videos we talk about more about in this topic